What's up guys, Prox here and I am back with another video for you. Today we're going to talk about uh, unwrapping or un unwrapping UV maps for your models, especially uh, organic models. Like if you had a face, now don't bug me about the topology and stuff of this face. It's something that I made really fast so I could have something to unwrap for you today. Um, <coughs> so what you want to do... Uh, if you have a face and you want to apply texture to it, say uh, say you apply a checker map, and you can see that it doesn't get even. Some places are black, some places are white. It's not even. You know, some some are bigger, some are smaller. It's not how you want it. Now this is because the default unwrapping that Max uh, gives to an object that's created by. Uh, by editable poly does not preserve the UV wells even if you have the preserve UV option on it just turns out terrible so what you want to do then and I'm going to show you some problems that are going to show up if you try to unwrap a face like this say first of all you want a UVW mapping clear that basically just deletes the unwrap uh, the UV mapping and then you Unwrap the UV map again. If you open the UV editor, you get something like this. And uh, basically, it's just a projection of your entire model. Now, what you would usually do if you had a model like this, or any kind of model actually, is that uh, you would select the faces that you want for a pelt or a element. And this isn't the whole head, since this is just a face, we could. Uh, get the entire face on one pelt. However, when the eyes are, when, when there is a hole in your mesh, basically the nose and the eyes, um, not the back here, uh, just when there's a hole within the pelt itself, uh, we get this kind of issue. I'm going to show you. So if you click on, under the peel option, if you click on the sort of pelt map you get up this uh, option right here and if you and what well, as you as you can see I should probably explain this um, these sort of red and white lines indicate what the pelt stretcher it's basically sort of a ribbons that are connected to vertices uh, vertices points on your on your model and as you can see for some reason uh, 3ds Max thinks that the inside of the eye is the outside of the map and what happens when you start the pelting is that it gets all distorted because it tries to stretch the eye out and pull everything through it it basically it doesn't work that way so we're gonna cancel that and I'm gonna show you a solution if you get this problem it's, it's uh, actually quite simple <clears throat> All you do is uh, you go back, select your borders, and then select all the holes and just cap them. Then when you unwrap, uh, select all the polygons, go into the pelt unwrap, and now as you can see, the, uh, the pelt tool attaches itself to the outside of the face. Now, if you don't want these in your in your model, of course, you can just delete them later. That won't destroy the UVs. So uh, then you can start the pelting, and that basically stretches it out as if it was sort of a deer or a a a bear or you know a wolf, whatever you've slain. This in this <laughs> in this case, it's a human, <laughs> and uh, it stretches out the UVs. Now, uh, stretching is something we really, we kind of want to avoid. So, in order to avoid that, we can start relaxing the model. Now, if you relax it too much, it gets very distorted, uh, depending on your settings. But in my mind, this looks okay. So, a little bit relaxed and a little bit pelting, and we can commit. And then, we have to scale it down 
so that it fits inside these uh, lines here. It's got to be inside these lines or it won't be uh, detected as a uh, UV map. Oh, and uh, yeah. And well, now as you can see, the checker map is, well, I'm going to have to change the size of it because uh, set the tiling to 10 for now. As you can see, the tiling is fairly even, not on the nose here though. And that's probably because it's at the, it's at the center of the map and it gets uh, compressed quite a bit. You can avoid that <coughs> by tweaking it manually. 100 is a little too much. Set it to 20. 20, like so. So yeah, at the nose here, you can see that the uh, the checker map is not even. But everywhere else, we got a pretty even result. And this happens sometimes. See, the nose is sort of the most protruding uh, mesh, and uh, often it creates issues like that. So you can you can solve it by manually going into the unwrap UV editor and uh, <clears throat> sort of uh, selecting yeah it will select selecting this area and relaxing it where's the relaxer they changed this UI so I don't really remember too much of it. Yeah, well, there's the relaxer. Oh no, not that. Relax until flat. Yeah, well, it doesn't relax all that much. In which case, if you didn't like it, you can uh, fix it a little bit. You can always do this again. You can pelt as many times as you want until you get the one. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, See, yeah, this is a problem that I should have shown you. When you when you select all of your sides and you click pelt, even if you cancel it, it'll create seams in places that you don't want. So what you have to do then, it's basically how to start over. You gotta go and you gotta clear the mapping. And then you start over by adding a new unwrap, basically. And Turn off that, select everything, pelt it again, and if you, some people just pelt and feel like that gives the best result. And uh, I, can, I can show you what that turns out to be. And I'm gonna show you why I don't, why I don't do it. I, hopefully it'll show you why I don't do it. Sometimes with simple meshes like this, it turns out good no matter what you do. But uh, I, I, it usually gives sort of a weird distortion effect. Yeah, okay. It turns out fairly okay, but you get this sort of weird distortion here, as you can see. Bends out, bends in. <clears throat> However, the nose turns out a lot better when you do it this way. So if but as you can see here, these some sort of stretch towards the eyes and stuff like that. So I usually like to apply some uh, some relax, which you can also do up here somewhere. Yeah, there. Start relax, like so. And that even makes it so that we can scale it a little bit bigger. And the better you can fit it in here, the more pixels you'll get. And that fixes most of these up a lot better. Even the nose turned out better this time, <coughs> for some reason. <laughs> yeah, so if we then uh, convert it to an editable poly, the UV maps are maintained. And if we then select the faces that we didn't want in our model and delete them, it doesn't really do anything to our mesh. However, our UVs are intact 
and if we say turbo smooth this, our UVs will still be intact because of the way subdivision works. And now it gets a little distorted, but if you're painting in, uh, say, mud box, you won't you know no, you won't notice that the nose is distorted. So. I guess uh, thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you learned something from this sort of quickie quickie tutorial. Uh, hopefully it was quick. I always use too much time. 